I lawyer uh, canceled the meeting this morning because I went to a court party. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Tzadik Aleph and Tzadar Megillah Sester. The reason is because I told you why he canceled because he didn't drink enough. That's why he's canceled it. Okay. Let's go. Tzadik Aleph, second column. Let's finish this rhyme now. Okay, we started this paragraph yesterday. So now Dreb is explaining this level of Levush uh, Malchus and Kesem Malchus, these lofty levels through Taita Mitzvahs, you bring down the highest of levels. How do you bring it down? He says through the level of Sus, Asher Ocha Balav HaMelech. The level of the Sus is the level of the Asius of Taita that you remember Mamshech the Kedusha. And he says, these few lines we learned. It says, Haman took the Levush of Sasus. Where did Haman get this level from? It's a lofty level bringing down. How did Haman do it? He says, Like it says in the Gemara, where do we find Haman in the Torah? So it says, by Eitz Adas, Hashem asked him, Hamin or Eitz. Hamin is Haman. I said we just learned these few lines. Inyan ki nixevreshet goyim amalik shekol akum emchina says it does tevera. All the goyim come to the level of tevera, and amalik is lemaila mehu. Zel hamin ha'itz betmiya shul lemaila mepchina suait. The question is, does he come from the eights? Hamin or eights? He's higher than the eights. So the Gemara. The question is, hamin or eights? Hashem said to, to Adam. Is Haman from the tree? No, Haman is worse than the tree. Haman's higher than Amalek is a bigger clipper. We come and came. Me ach, the chsev amino eight of your Russian to me. Yare shla koponim, sashaycha sala eight. Shimlan kele maskir eight till eight. The fact that even though Haman is higher than the eight, but the fact that it says Haman next to eight shows that he's above it, but connected. The like Gurdur many times is maki from the clothing. It's around the body, but it still has to fit you. Okay, so he says, Achinian, Shemchin is market late, Negea, what's he called, the expression? Negea vein and Negea. Touches and not, not touching, which is the level of Chut, but the Gas is And he says, Nezelum, Zelum, and Zayesh, Bigdush, Vinika Gamkin, Machin is Haman, Lacher, Biru. Just like there's in Klipa, the level of Haman, so there's in Kedusha, the level of Haman. After Haman is refined to Kedusha, like it says in the Megillah, base Haman, Nasati Lester, which is another Chassidus explains remarkable thing. Normally you break evil. You break evil. What happened, base Haman? Nasati Lester. Haman's by the house of Haman was transformed to Esther Mordechai, Kedusha. What Haman was given to Mordechai and Esther. Kimene, but where, where do you see this in Gashmias? Which is look down, and you to, your eyes have to be up, meaning a name is level of which is Mesha, which is This is where we left off, by the way, yesterday. So this is the level. What? No, Moshe Rabbein is the level of honor bittul. It's the opposite of the uh, Yeah, but like it says in the Pasuk, Vayigbal Libay Vadarke Hashem means he had, simply means a haughtiness in the way of Hashem. Meaning, what is haughtiness in the way? He didn't care what anybody else said. They tell her there's a chassid of the Alter Rebbe. He says he didn't sin because of Gaiva. He didn't sin because of haughtiness. What does it mean? So the story is like this. He said that I am such a great chassid of the Alter Rebbe. It's below my dignity to sin. That gaiva <laughs> is kedusha. Yeah. That haughtiness is good. So what happens when you take the haughtiness of chutzpah of evil? But how chutzpah come? Where, where, where does the person speak chutzpah? If you have respect for the person, you don't speak chutzpah to them. Chutzpah is a trait that you don't, you speak to somebody, you think, oh, I'm better than you, I could be chutzpah to you. If you respect the person, then you don't speak with chutzpah. 
So that's chutzpah of evil. But there's chutzpah of kedush also. That no matter what happens, I'm better than you. And you're not going to tell me not to serve Hashem. Because if a person, he says you need to have bittel. No. He just says, what does it mean by Yigba Liba Vedarke Hashem? It's the opposite of Haman's Chutzpah. Right? What's Kedusha, Chutzpah of Kedusha? He says, Bittel and connecting to Hashem. Being humble like Mitch Rabin is the ultimate Chutzpah. Yeah, the ultimate Chutzpah of Kedusha. He says, The Adam Tzarek Liyazmi Kalu Mishinim, a person needs to have both. The bit inayim lamata and libe lamayla him loy yabachinus hagbar klal because if a person won't have this like tri- Jewish pride, Jewish chutzpah in a positive way, loy yavilugashes alaveda he's not going to come to serve Hashem because he said mi anechi maveda say another person can come along and have false humility. What's false humility? Why should I do Torah mitzvahs? You think God cares about me? You think I, I matter? You, uh, uh, Jewish lives matter? You think it matters if you do a mitzvah or not? I'm a nothing. I'm a nobody. So therefore you need to know, no, when I do mitzvahs, I accomplish something. I, I am somebody that connects to Hashem. Why is it false No, because the person says, who am I that I am worth anything? That is coming from the Yetzirah. No, it's not. No. A person has to know, I, I accomplish when I do a mitzvah. I should be doing it better. Humility doesn't mean I'm a nothing. That's idiotic. Humility means I know who I am. I know my qualities. I know what I'm accomplishing. But based on what I should be, I should be much better. And if I should be much better, I don't think I'm God. Only God's gift to the world. And it also has to be in I'm Lamata, the eyes down below. Meaning, Lias Prinus Bit, or Mamish Berinza, I'm Shachas Chachmila Kayachma, basic at Tayra. And the learning of Tayra, which comes with Chachma Nafkis, like it says, Udvardai, Ashe Samti Beficha. Hashem says, It's my words that I put in your mouth. Which means, when a person learns Tayra, and that's the bitl of learning. Like we learned many times, why was the land destroyed? They didn't do bircha satayra. It doesn't say they didn't learn. They didn't do bircha satayra. So Rabbi Yaina, who is a Rishon, explained in the Gemara, you do put on film without a bracha, you did the mitzvah. You do lula without a bracha, you did the mitzvah. Why, what was so terrible? Maybe if it's that they didn't learn, I understand they didn't learn Taita. It doesn't say they didn't learn. They learned Taita. They didn't make the bracha before. What's so terrible about that? So Rabbi Yain explained, because what's the bracha of Taita? Naisin ha Taita. That means when a person learns Taita, they realize it's not my Taita. It's God's Taita. Which means in simple English, if I don't understand something in, in Taita, normally the human nature is to say the halacha doesn't make sense. Which means, if I don't understand it, it got to be wrong. Nathan Atayra means, no, the opposite. It's not a question, how come I don't understand Taylor? The question, how could I understand anything of Taylor? If Taylor is God's wisdom, which is infinite, how in the world can I, as brilliant as you think you are, but you're still a limited brain, how in the world can you understand? So that is the level of Berchaz Atayra. Because otherwise, as we find in history, this is brought down in Svarim, the people used to say, well, the Rambam says this, but I, I mean, people that know how to learn. They'll say, well, that was the Rambam's interpretation. My interpretation is better. Or that's what Rashi holds. I, my interpretation is better. That's meaning they didn't say Birchus Satayra before. The Zawinian is what the Gemara says. She Tamad Chochum, Sarachli Yishmini, Shibishmini. The Gemara says in Saita, the Tamad Chochum needs to have an eighth of an eighth of Gaiva. What does it mean? You need, it says there's 32 paths of Chochma and there's 50 Shari Bina. Right? That's why it says in Svarim, Levonin. Levonin is Lev Nun, which represents Chochma and Bina, because Chochma is Lev, like 32 channels of Chochma, whatever it means. 
And Bina, there's 50 levels of Bina. The Gamlev, the Gmatir Lamid Beis, or Klolishneim, Eilis Samach Dalit. And therefore, Lev and Lamid Beis in the Sivas Chachma is 64. Right? 32 and 32 is 64. That's the eighth of the eighth that the Gemara speaks of. Huh? Chachma is 32. Nun is 52. No, no, no. It doesn't say. He says Lev. Chachma is. Lev, Lamed Beis, and then you have um, the Lamed Beis, uh, the Lev, the heart. Meaning, why is he adding Chachma too late? Because it says um, Chachma is learning Teira. The Chachma may the rice enough. Teira, Chachma. What does Lev? Lev is the heart, but the Gemara says you have to have a naim lamato, and you have to have the lev should be lamaila. So it says you have lamid chachmi is lamid basin si is chachma plus the word heart. So when you have chachma and the heart, it's chachma seichel. So when you have chachma and lev, it's sixty four, and therefore you're supposed to have one chelik of it, meaning the eighth of an eighth of gaiva. Now. It says Ushmini should be chela kachum isamach dalit. I know agbos a lev hamachul, but on me chachma. The level of the gaiva that's connected a an eighth of an eighth is the level of one level of chachma. Ki iker hachachma is hamshachas bichin is a bitul. What's the primary level of chachma is bitul? Kayachma el shetzrich malot chila bichin is agbos lev. But then you need a little bit of this. Kosher gaiva. La'am shech acha kach she'im ein aloin am shach. In order to bring down, you got to make the keli first, right? First, what? In other words, in order to bring down kedusha, you have to make a vessel for it. Correct? The vessel for kedusha is humility. Humility is a way the person humbles himself. Aveda, humility is not inborn. Kids are very self-centered. Kids, little kids, when they, you have to train them to share and to be nice. You're basically telling them uh, you don't own the world. Okay. So that's the level of bitl. Now that keli that you have through humility, when you refine yourself, now you become a vessel for Kedusha. God can only rest on somebody who is, has humility. The Gemara uses the expression, a full keli, a full vessel you can't put anything into. The Gemara says, Kli mole ene machzik. Reikon machzik. Which means, if a person full of themselves, then there's no room for God. Therefore, the Gemara says, in Seit, at the beginning, it speaks all about Gaiva. It says, Eina niva hu yechelim lodar. I cannot coexist with somebody who doesn't let me in. So therefore, in order to have this bringing down the Kedusha of Hashem, you need to have the level of humility. So first you need to work on yourself to refine yourself. And therefore, what does Shulchan Aruch say? You're not supposed to learn before davening. See, this is a preparation for davening. Okay, but halachically, you're supposed to go make some kinesis and make some First you daven, and then you go learn. Why? What's wrong with learning before davening? Because in order to, like we said before, you need the nice in hatera. You need to have the humility to understand it's God's hatera and God is giving me a big merit that whatever I understand of Taita is allowing me to understand. Right? So at first you need to have tefillah, which is bittal, refining of oneself. Like Kabbana is sacrificing the animal, sacrificing Yetzirah, which is a level of guidance. So now you have bittal. And then you're able to bring down the level of Taita. Then when you learn Taita, it's similar to the concept of Birchas HaTaita before you learn. Can you learn something that is uh, inspired in the afternoon? 